what is this? This is a tracking tunnel that I have um, put out uh, last night to see if we had any rats and mice come through. And sure enough, we have. See, these smaller ones here belong to mice, and these slightly bigger ones here are rats. Peanut butter in there, I'm gonna take this out, got a trap over there. Right. Well, as you've seen, little brown mice come running through the fence, and then I'm um, yeah, so take this out, get a better look at it. You can quite clearly see this now, you can see that, um, yeah, got some tail markings, I assume. And they've walked across here. They've walked across the peanut butter as well. Oh. Oh. Dirt bags. So they come across here. They walked across the ink pad. They left the little trails around. Oh, it's a bit cold. So these ones here, if I can focus it. These ones here, I believe, these little ones belong to mice. Little mice footprints. And over here, there's lots of rats. These are bigger ones are rats. Why would you walk across your food? It's so stupid. So, no, no, we do get rats and mice. I only thought we had mice, was we only saw that, that little brown mouse come across here a few times. And this is, um, pretty good. Gotta set up a trap there now. I'll just use some of that peanut butter. See, a lot of activities has been along the edge of it here. You know, right, running up the sides. Alright, let's um, see the trap. I don't know how dark this is, so this is the trap we'll be using. It's sort of a more powerful one. So, we'll show you how to set one of it. So, it's got this little hood on it, so it makes sure it's a clean kill. So, when the rat or mouse puts his head in there, it only gets his head in, so it can't come off the top and get stuck or get the paw in or anything like that. So it's an insta kill to make sure it's a nice clean kill. We don't want animal suffering. Um, so you put the bait in this little part here, so I just get oh, some of this stuff from the ink pad. You just put it on here, stick it on that little spike, bit of peanut butter. Apparently rats and mice prefer like fancy stuff like fix some frogs and picks peanut butter, but we're just using them cheap Chinese stuff. So once you got it on there, hold it on right hand side, so I'm gonna hold it on my left. So you just pull the bar up. Oh, tough one, make sure you hold it tight like this. So then you're gonna get this little bar and put it on there's like um just little other little bar where the little thing sits on. Just under here. So it's stuck now. This one's stuck now. So let's put that on there. And then we carefully put our hand in and flip up that bait part and carefully release it. So it looks just like that. So when the mouse comes there, I won't set my hand in, we'll set my finger off. Come in there, see that little part, this and that, or when they come up to take a bunch, it'll come down, and this will go, this um, rod here will be released, and this will fly up and, you know, gone. Alright, next part. Always make sure that the trap is facing towards the entrance on this end. And you want to all the way at the back so that um, the pest is supposed to be drawn all the way in. So slide this in so they can see straight through. Um, it's important to um, make sure you can see straight through it with the tracking tunnels and this. Because um, they won't go in if they can't see um, an exit like this. Um, there is no exit but they think there is because they can see through it. Um, plus they won't go in if they can't see an exit because uh, they'll feel trapped and if the, a predator comes to them they won't be able to get out so it's quite important and it's good if like you set them up along, along walls because they like to you know run along it makes them feel safe and on the end here's the entrance it's just big enough for a rat to come in so rats and mice can come in here uh, here trolls can't uh, we're not trapping hedgehogs currently, um, but sometimes small hedgehogs can get in, but it's very uncommon to do that. So you can see a little mouse will come in here, 
Dang. Dead. We wait. It's raining you now. Ah. So I gotta help her here now. Hello, Skipper. Oh, no mascot. Such a good boy. Wait. So a good thing you can do if you want to use these again, just um, put some more paper on it. Um, Skadoosh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Not for you. No. Not for you. No. Anyway, so, oh, this tape, let's use cello tape. Don't have to use duct tape. It's fine, it's going to be underneath. Um, you can just reuse this. Uh, the ink on these um, tracking ink pants um, can actually last a couple of months. Uh, if you have lots of hedgehogs, it can last a week to a month. <laughs> it's from experience. You know, if they make a mess in the entire bloody thing, they get peanut butter on the ceiling of the bloody thing. Just gonna put it in here. Hole. Yeah, so so run down here. That'll be a good place for alright some mice to come down here and probably come down here then. We're gonna end up through there. It's probably my guess. Run down here through there to our garden area throw our banana peels and things in. Till now. Throw it up the tussock so people don't nick it. So that, that, that's a guide to tra tra tracking and trapping one, it might be a two, but one. Excuse my crime against fashion.